All right, guys, and welcome to the new series. This is exciting, actually. We are going to get to level 99 with the original Aurochs. We have done it with the Luka Goers, the Ronso Fangs, the Kilka Beasts, the Guado Glories, and the Albed Sykes. All of those teams achieved level 99. Now we're doing it with the Abyssal Aurochs. Um, so we have yet to be undefeated in a series as well. So we're going to try for it this time. Um, and we're going to start off our first match against the Guado Glories. Albed Sykes taking on the Luka Goers. This is actually pretty okay seeding. We avoid the uh, Ronso Fangs, unfortunately. Um, but the Albed Sykes and Luka Goers on their own bracket is good. Honestly, Guado Glories, Albed Sykes are kind of my, my worst starting matches. But let's see, uh, let's see what we can do. And we actually, um, a little bit, you, you might not realize, we have Waka at level 1. Uh, that's actually not possible. Uh, we had to save edit to make him level 1 rather than start at level 3. Normally he starts at level 3, so. Oh yeah, and he's actually busted because... Yeah, he... So this is, yeah, he still has a tech slot because he's level 1, but we can't take, we didn't take it away, right? So we'll have to... Oh yeah, there's nothing to tech copy. Let's jump in. So for this series, and it's not gonna, it's not gonna come into play here, but for this series, I believe we have banned um, Jack Shot, which is, we couldn't do that anyways. Um, invisible Shot, Tackle Slip Techniques. Uh, those are all banned. And then High Risk as well. But yeah, we got Nav Guado here, passing to Zazzy. This is already so terrifying, and I, I believe we're going to lose the game. Like, 100%. I, I have no faith, and I'm, I'm, I'll be honest, I'm a pretty faithful person. Like, I, uh, if I lose the game, I'm not going to restart. I'm just going to accept the fact that I lost the game, because that's how, that's how it should be. Like, if I, if I, if I set up to win games, it cheats the validity of the series in, in, in its entirety. It ruins the entire fun, because... You know, I'm just, I'm I'm making it so I always win. It's not like the AI, look at the AI right now. They're, they're already, like, making me win. So we need to set manual, normal. So now we have the ball. Uh, game's over. I'm calling it right now. Game is over. So we're going to pass to Letty here. I don't know what to do, actually. I'm kind of, I'm kind of afraid, so I'm just trying to pass to someone I trust. So, a little bit boring, but for these initial games, uh, we're going to just have to pass. We're about to level up. It's funny, actually, because someone was commenting on Reddit today, and they were saying, like, oh, like, I'm having the worst time ever. I can't beat the goers in the initial game. This, what I'm doing right now, this is actually what I would recommend doing against the goers. If you feel like the traditional strategies don't work, just pass with your back line. Like, just do that forever. And no matter what, like, you will eventually level up and beat the opponent's. And it's a tournament right now as well, so we can't tie the game. There must be a winner, and, you know, that's that's the end of it. There must be a winner. So yeah, Bada, Bada with the ball, pass to Jasu, all that stuff. We probably want to incorporate um, Letty as well into this so he gets Venom Pass. I'm a little bit concerned about our techniques because we've locked every single team to their original players. So the goers are always going to have the goers. The goys are always going to have the glories. Sykes always going to have the Sykes. Like so on and so forth, right? They are always going to be the exact same players. Uh, so it's a more traditional league. Um, but um, I don't know. I don't know how techniques are going to get incorporated outside of like tournaments. I don't know. It's, it's interesting because the game never intended for this to happen. The game never intended for what I'm doing here to be possible. So, how it actually gets things into the league is going to be interesting to say the least. Yeah, we are going to put also a little bit of... Um, see, this is the thing. I feel like I should have just made a graphic and put it on the screen. Um, I suppose it's not too late to do that. But, um, we are going to ban Napshot 3 as well. But we can use things like Napshot 2. So we just can't use like a guaranteed nap shot. And it, I think it gives, it lends to a very interesting decision. Do we equip Wither Shot 3 because it's a 100% chance of withering and also gives additional shoot, shoot? 
or do we equip Napshot 2 at for less shoot buff, but and also like less chance of inflicting nap? I think it's the only real way to balance um, Napshot. Because I think nap techniques, uh, starting with pass, are some of the most broken things you've ever seen. Yeah. So we're going to pass to Jasu. Going to push up here. So we, we've done this a thousand times. But generally our teams are infinitely better than they are right now. So we'll encounter Zazzy. Can we start out strong? That's the question. Oh, I messed up. I don't think I, looking at the time, I don't think I gave enough time. Oh wait, no I did. Because uh, there's no techniques. Um, no catch techniques. And there it is, 1-0. The glories are not taking us down. I can guarantee that. Glories are goners. That's the motto right now. And that is it, 1-0 going into the second half. We're starting off our potentially undefeated um, journey very well see look at that all the all the buff so more hp and pass for letty uh more hp endurance pass and block for jasu more hp block for Ibana. it's good stuff man all right let's jump into the uh second half here see this is where it gets a little bit uh interesting well no one leveled up they literally got like no experience We'll see, uh, we'll see teams at a higher level, I think, later on. Yeah, and then we're just going to pass back to Bada. Yeah, we're just passing on the back line. Um, just doing what we do. You know how it is. We should incorporate um, Waka and uh, Dotto into this, I think, a little bit more. It's it's a bit of a challenge, though, I'd argue, because they're kind of covered and their pass isn't great. I mean, I passed Dotto here. Um, he's barely got enough pass to make this a reality. I mean, he does, though. He does have enough. If you notice, Bada's pass went down three times. So they uh, bought us, yeah, catch that on the one. So it's not, it's not terrible. It's just very risky, I would argue. And that one went down four times, which means we can't make it to Bada without fumbling the ball. But what about Letty? This is risky. Oh, we do it. We do it. Okay. I don't know. I always feel like we've got to um, we've got to level up a little bit and stuff. Like we gotta we gotta give something for our players, right? Because we are definitely not the all star like kick ass team that was the Albert Sykes starting out. We do become pretty decent though. I think the Besaid Orox uh, start out really strong. Um, well, not sorry. Um, get really strong as you go on. They tell we don't start out strong. That would be a controversial statement. You know, the Besaid Oros are kind of the best team starting out. You know, it's like, that's no, not, it's not true. You know? Best team starting out is 100%, I would say, Albed Sykes. I think that, I think the worst, I mean, actually, probably the, we probably kind of hope that we did. I kind of wish we did face the Albed Sykes first, but yeah, they're the worst team to face first. Like, they are so good and there's, it's just, it's a rough time. It is a rough time. Yeah, really the, the attack of their forwards makes it more difficult to face them. As well as you've got literally the best goalie ever in Nimrok on their team, so. You know, there's definitely, uh, there's definitely some, uh, some issues. Pass to Letty. And we're just going to try to set it for a goal. There's no reason not to go for goals, right? We've all, we're already ahead one, but if we just set up a correctly, we can try for a goal without giving them the opportunity to score on us. 
And arguably, even if they score on us, it's not the end of the world. Don't get me wrong. It's not good. Because th it could definitely lead into, like, uh, they score on us, goes into overtime, they start with the ball, and then, like, score on us again, right? Like, it could definitely end into a uh, very bad time. But yeah, we're going to pass to Waka. Go up. All that stuff. I mean, this is just going to be... Like, Noi, Noi doesn't know what to do here. You got Waka just staring at you. It's a monster. This, this is really nice, though. I like the I like the traditional, like, everyone's on the same team. And that, I mean, that's 2-0. So we're starting out really strong. Starting out really, really strong. That is going to be the final score. 2-0. Glories are down. We just ended their undefeated streak. Didn't even start even for him. Look at that. So, Waka level 2, more HP endurance shoot. Dotto level 2, more speed HP endurance shoot. Letty number, level, level 3, <laughs> more HP endurance block. Jasu level 5, HP endurance attack shoot catch. Bottom level 5, increasing everything with the exception of speed. Perfect. So yeah, we 2-0 two, we two the Glories and the Sykes 2-1 the Goers. We, I would have much rather preferred the uh, Goers to win. This could be bad. We'll see. Alright. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.